Belgium remains on high alert. Its main city, Brussels, at the highest security level still, with most told to stay home, schools and the subway shut down. Hundreds of Belgian security forces launched nearly two dozen raids in the last 24 hours, yielding one suspect authorities believe is connected to the Paris attack, but came up empty in the search for Europe's most wanted man. Salah Abdeslam is not, not among the persons arrested during the searches. 26-year-old Salah Abdeslam was last seen hours after the Paris killings on this highway to Belgium in a car with two other men. French authorities checked IDs, but waved them on. Abdeslam vanished, but Belgian authorities have arrested the two men with him. The two men say hours after the attacks, they received a phone call from Salah Abdeslam, and that he sounded very upset, saying that his car had broken down and he needed a ride back to Belgium. The two friends came to Paris here and picked him up. The attorney stresses they had no idea that he was involved in the attacks. But the attorney also says the men noticed he was carrying something. Quote, a big jacket and other things, maybe like an explosive belt or something like that, unquote. <laughs> his family believes Abdeslan changed his mind at the last minute and didn't carry out his attack like the others. They point to a rental car in his name found abandoned on a Paris street. Meanwhile, French authorities have released this photo said to be from the travel documents of one of the suicide bombers who blew up outside the stadium in Paris. They believe he used a fake name, so they're asking if anyone recognizes him. Also today, Britain's Prime Minister joined with French President Francois Hollande to pay respects at the Bataclan Concert Hall, where most of the Paris victims were murdered. I firmly support the action that President Hollande has taken to strike ISIL in Syria, and it's my firm conviction that Britain should do so too. We are going to intensify our strikes. We're going to choose targets to make as much damage as possible with this terrorist army. As he spoke, the just-arrived Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier was beginning its first day of flight operations sending more French jets against ISIS targets in Syria.